Hi everyone, it's Callie. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm creating a hummingbird shaped card using a Spellbinders die from BB Cameron's hummingbird collection. This collection is so pretty and it's a lot of details. And so we're going to create a shaped card today. You can use this on a five by seven panel, but I decided to just keep it a hummingbird shape to keep it interesting. And I really wanted to imitate this colorful hummingbird inspiration that I found on Google. So we're going to go ahead and create this with some white cardstock and some ink blending. So I have a five by seven white panel there. I wanted to show you that this hummingbird actually fits a five by seven card perfectly. So if you wanted to turn this into a regular card with four corners, you are more than welcome to do so, or you can make a shaped card. So I die cut that hummingbird base in white because we're gonna be doing lots of ink blending there. And there are some other layering parts to it like the beak and the belly. And so I went ahead and die cut those with some colored cardstock and that's going to help me intensify those colors but I'm also going to add ink to them to give the parts more color. So like on the beak I did some pink as well as some orange and then as well as some dark brown for the shading of his beak. Now for the belly I die cut it using some surf blue cardstock I'm ink blending it with some colors that are complementary to that cardstock color. So I'm using purples and greens and some teal ink to blend those colors together and create a really colorful belly. So I'm going to set that aside and then we can work on this little piece here which is the crown of the hummingbird's head. I die cut it from some green apple cardstock and now I'm going to ink blend with a bit of yellow and then again with that dark brown for some shading at the very top. Now as I was a part of the beak. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some black Copic marker to color that eye so that I don't have to die cut that piece a second time. And for the final throat piece here of the hummingbird, I die cut that with surf blue also, and I've ink blended it with some surf ink to add a little bit of depth and dimension as well. Moving on to the main base for the hummingbird shaped card. I'm gonna ink blend with positively saturated inks all over this one panel. So we're gonna create and blend lots of colors here. I'm starting out with the purple wings. Again, I'm using the image on my phone for inspiration and I'm adding colors where I think it would imitate what's on the photo. So I did purple for the wings and then I added a bit of pink to the tips of the wings or the tops of them. And now I'm going in with some greens and it's kind of like a rainbow blend. So I'm trying to imitate the image as much as possible. And I'm kind of going in rainbow order. So with the purple complementing with the pinks and then the greens blending into the teals, etc. If you're afraid about the colors blending each other and turning into mud, don't worry. As long as you use colors that are complementary to each other or adjacent to each other on the color wheel, you should be fine. So on the tail, I'm using some pinks and I'm blending it into the yellow and it's going to create its own little orange shade. So I'll go back and forth with the yellow and the pink to create that orange color. And that just creates a really vibrant tail for this hummingbird. And then I decided in order to emphasize the feather partitionings, I'm going to go ahead and sweep the color from those corners and crevices towards the upper portion of the tail. So you can kind of see I'm not blending in circular motions. I'm sweeping that color in from those crevices that you see. And I'll do the same thing with the purple on the wings. It just adds a bit more depth and it looks like you're blending each feather on its own, but you're not doing that because you're sweeping the color in. And since the feathers aren't layered in any capacity with um, die cutting or paper piecing. This is going to help imitate that look. Okay, so that finishes the ink blending for the base of my hummingbird. You can obviously use darker colors, intensify that, but here we are creating as we go. So this is how my hummingbird is going to turn out and I'm just piecing together those other bits that I ink blended and it's really easy to layer this hummingbird because everything is etched onto that card base. So it's really easy to line these pieces up and put them where they need to go. Okay, our hummingbird is put together. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know if I fully 
captured this colorful hummingbird from my inspiration, but that's as close as I'm going to get, I think. I think I could have intensified the colors a little bit more, but we're creating on the fly. So this is how my hummingbird is going to end up. Okay, so I die cut a second base and I'm going to create a shaped card. So that means our card is going to stay like this. It's not going to go on a cornered card. And to do that, I'm just going to take that second base panel, put it into a scoring tool, and then I'm going to score it on the left side. As you can see, it butts up to the, th the corners perfectly there, the hummingbird does. And I'm just going to score at the half inch mark. That'll give me plenty of room to add adhesive and to adhere these two layers together to create my hummingbird card. I'm using some double sided tape. And there is some double-sided tape hanging in between the crevices and I'm just going to cut those and snip those in the center with a pair of scissors and then I'm just going to fold the adhesive back onto each other and that will keep that space clear of any adhesive. And then I'll layer the bird on top and we have a hummingbird shaped card. So now what about a sentiment? Um, there is a die that will cut a second layered belly portion for this hummingbird. So I went ahead and die cut that in white. And I'm going to add some color to this piece as well. I'm using the same colors as on that other belly portion that I did. I'm just using residual ink from my blending brush to add that color. And then I'll layer that on top. And then I can put this in my Misty and butt it up to the left and the top and we can stamp the sentiment on and keep it perfectly straight. This is the hummingbird sentiment set from the hummingbird collection and they all won't fit on the belly portion of the hummingbird card. So I'm going to have to do some partial stamping. I used a sentiment that says thinking of you. So I'm going to break it up into two parts. I'm going to stamp the word thinking first and then I'll move my stamp and ink up the of you part and stamp it a second time to get the full sentiment on there. I know you can cut your stamps apart and do some stamp surgery. It's totally up to you what you prefer. I've never cut my stamps apart. It kind of makes me nervous. But so we have our sentiment now and that finishes our hummingbird card. So it was super quick and easy to complete and I hope you like it. If you're interested in these products, be sure to check out the links below. Everything will be linked for your convenience. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day everyone. Bye!